Hello, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Hello there. Good evening. Let's Hello. Hoy sí ya pueden encender sus cámaras. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Yay! I love to see you guys in class. It's great. It's amazing. Thank you. Anything. <laughs> great. Now, let's see. Let's check. How are we doing, right? We need to know how are we and how was our vacation? Let's see, let me start with Fabiola. Hello there, Fabiola. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm very good. I'm very good. And in vacation, I went to Cerro Verde and in Chalatenango. Great, excellent. Yes, <laughs> it's cool. It's very fresh. <laughs> really, that's so cool. That's amazing because here in San Salvador, girl, it's really hot. <laughs> yes, and you, teacher? Uh, I'm pretty what good. What do you do on vacation? <laughs> I'm pretty good, thanks God. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just stayed home, uh, watch some classes and try to make content for you guys. And also trying to make content for the other jobs that I have, right? So only that, <laughs> basically, I was pretty boring actually during vacation, but it's good that you, at least you enjoyed your vacation. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Excellent. Let me see, Rafael, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. On my vacation, uh, I went to the beach. It was very um, hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I took relax, and I came. <clears throat> I came on Saturdays. Well, <laughs> how many days do you spend on the beach? Three or three, three days. That's so cool. That's amazing. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> perfect, Rafael. It's great. Good for you. Thank you. Let's go with Lisette. How are you, Lisette? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. In my vacation, I was great. I, I was uh, to the beach because uh, my parents celebrated 31, uh, 31 uh, of my parents. Mm -hmm. The anniversary. Uh, yes. And I, pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent. That's so cool. Congrats to your parents, honey. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Oh, all right. It's good, everyone. Let me see. Karina, Fatima, Karina, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. How was your vacation? I stay home. You stayed home. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay home too. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's teacher. how it works. <laughs> okay, but it's good that you're in class. That, that's excellent. Very good. Let's go with Claudia Thank Maria. You. How are you, Claudia? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was your vacation? Uh, uh, in, in my vacations, I moved on my new house and I passed all the, all the things. And only you were that. ordering. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Good for you that you have a new house. <laughs> Thanks. Congrats. Let me see. Who else do we have? Everyone, I need you to talk. You know, I have spent one week without seeing you guys, so I miss you. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see Noemi. Jesenia, how are you, Noemi? I miss. I'm fine. Thank you. How was your vacation? It was, it was good, boring, but good. At least I'm alive. 
<laughs> How about yours? How was your vacation? Um, it was amazing. I visited some places. Which ones? The Tell last me. Weekend, the last weekend I visited a uh, Potonico in Chalatenango. And on Friday, I visited uh, Limo. This place is near of Guatemala. Oh, wow. <laughs> Girl, you were hired. <laughs> you were going higher. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. That's great. How was the weather in there? Was it cold or hot? Uh, it was hot. Hot. Oh, okay. Yeah, like in San Salvador. <laughs> Let me see. Well, it's a pleasure to see you, Noemi. Let's go with Armando. Let's see, Armando. How are you? Hi, teacher. And you, teacher? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your vacation? I, I stay at home, teacher. Relax. <laughs> the same. Same here, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. All right. Let me see. Fatima Rivas. Hello there. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm How great. Are you? I'm happy to see you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> How was your vacation, Fatima? Uh, boring too, because <laughs> I stay in my house and I make the puzzle with my my son and that's all well at least you did something <laughs> <laughs> that's great excellent diane hello there how are you diane hi teacher hi guys um so good so far that's great how was your vacation on vacation trip to Cincinnati. i visit my family um, I went to the beach on all weekend relax. All right, that's great, excellent. So I'm assuming you are with the rhythm right now with the class. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Luis Alonso. How are you, Luis? Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Fine, teacher. Uh, tired mm -hmm. yeah. for my first first birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is the first day, and you are already tired. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you yes, do teacher. something special? Did you do something special on vacation, Liz? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, um, I went. Uh, went out um, to eat with my my wife and my and my daughter um, uh, he, and in my house uh, watch uh, uh, TV uh, movies favorite movies and programs television. Excellent TV programs. Excellent, very good. That's great. Yes. Same in here. <laughs> Let's go with Cristian Muñoz. How are you, Cristian? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. How about you? Well, I'm happy. I'm good to be in here with you guys in <laughs> class. And I'm just asking everyone, what did you do on vacation? <laughs> go out, or you just stayed at home? I stayed at home and I was taking a rest like a child. <laughs> like you were sleeping 24 7. <laughs> yes, I watched um, two series, so TV shows. Uh, TV programs. TV programs. Uh, all yes. right. That's great. <laughs> Very good. Good for you. Hmm, I have noticed, everyone, that nobody told me I've been practicing English means. <laughs> Yes, I was practicing a lot with my brother. Ah, okay. There you go. You got 10 already. 
Great, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Let's go with Marvin. How are you, Marvin? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How about? Not bad. It's so good. How was your vacation, Marvin? Did you go out or you just stayed at home? I stay at home. I, I don't like go out on vacation. Mm -hmm. It's all full. It's all very expensive. <laughs> there you got a point. It's expensive and it's crowded. There you go. Excellent. All right, Marvin. Let me see, Rene Samuel. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. It's fine. You're fine. Excellent. Did you do it? Did you do anything on vacation? I sleep, I watch television. Excellent, very good. Those are my favorite activities. <laughs> Excellent, Rene. Let me see. Florence, there you are. Now that you have opened your camera. Tell me, Florence, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. And I feel tired too. <laughs> <laughs> because of your first day of work yes oh, yes because in vacation i was to relax i watched some movies i stayed at home to rest mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so different to back <laughs> yeah you're right <laughs> yeah i got you i think i do understand you <laughs> But you will get used to it during the week. Everyone is going to get used to it <laughs> again. Milagro, how are you, Milagro? Yes. Fine, thank you, teacher. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to see you, Milagro. <laughs> thank you. How was your vacation? I I wa I was in my house. I the Monday I was to find the yard hmm. I think you have issues with your internet. Ah, <laughs> it happens all the time. It happens to me every time. Well, let's hope your internet gets like stable. And then we can talk later. Wednesday <laughs> in one. Yeah, Milagro, is that your your video stopped? So I thought that I couldn't hear you anything. Just from Monday and then everything has stopped. In the is it my family? Listen, you listen to me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Well, okay. I'm assuming, I want to assume that you did a lot of activities and that's great, Milagro, very good. And I'm assuming okay. you also practice your English. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Let me see, last but not least, Karina Jimenez. Hello. Hello. How are Hello. you, Karina? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. Okay. Did you do anything special during vacation? Did you go out or you just stayed at home? No, I, I was at home and I was sick. For, you were sick? Yes, for four days. Oh, God. What did my, you have? Flu? Flu? Flu, like, flu in my shirt. Throat. Uh -huh, my throat. throat. Uh -huh. My throat. Um, only I uh -huh. I rest in my in my bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the good thing. Uh, that's the only good thing that you can do when you are sick. Mm -hmm. and also drinking yeah. medicines and all those things, taking medicines. But it's yes. good to see you in class. I Thanks. admire you for that because I know Thanks. you still may be sick and you're in class. That's great. Excellent, everyone. So as far as I can see, everyone's in class 
And it's a pleasure to see you. Let me share with you my PPT. All right. Let me know. Do you see my PPT? Yes. Yes. Great. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's see. We still are in section four. Do you like rap? <laughs> That's the name of the section, right? Uh, today is Monday, August. Yeah, and this is 2021. Let's keep going, let's keep going. <laughs> and we're in class 11. You guys, I hope you have been practicing a lot on the platform, right? Because we're in class 11 and we're just about to finish the course. Course is just around the corner. Let me see. So as always, we have interesting questions at the beginning of the class. What do you remember from last class? Let me tell you something. I know last class was last week. It's not like one day ago, right? It's a whole week ago. But let's try to catch up. Let's try to remember some content. Let's see. I'm going to ask. Um, Sarsenio Raul, can you please read, only read question number one? Mention and less three music genres. 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 Excellent. Thank you, Raul. Let's see. Let me see. Christian, mention at least three music genres. Drop, rock, mm -hmm. pop rock, Excellent. punk, <laughs> electronic go. music. <laughs> Those are easier. <laughs> All right, good. Good that you remember. Let's go with question number two. Luis Alonso, please read question number two. Uh, create one question using do, do okay excellent thank you let's see these are like prompts guys are not just like questions these are more like prompts that i need you to follow thank you luis let me see i'm gonna ask lizette velasco create one question using do please uh, sorry teacher Create one question using do. I don't know if you remember, but last class, which it was one week, one week ago, we learned about do and does. So I need you to create one question using do. Uh, do when I use an I? Oh, I need you to create one, to create one question. Que crees una pregunta. Oh, okay, okay. Using do. Uh, do you like eat pupusas? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Do you like to eat pupusas? Yes, of course. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> likes to eat pupusas. Thank you. Let's go with um, Fatima Rivas. Read question or prompt number three, please. Create one question using does. Does she study English? Excellent, girl, you took it, excellent. Does she study English? Yeah, it's good, excellent. Let's go with Florence. No, you already participate, right, Florence, or not? No. no. Okay, tell me question number four. Just read it, please. Mention at least five object pronouns. Pronouns. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Let me see. Rafael, mention at least five. Me, you, him, her, it, us, okay. them. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go, everyone. It's good that you remember. Now, 
I still have this content for today's class, just for you to remember to refresh your memory about it. And let's see. So there you have it. Thank you, everyone, the ones that participated in last part. Excellent. So we have the object pronouns. Let's see. Milagro, please read the object pronouns. Sorry, teacher. Can you please read the object pronouns? These ones. Me, you, him, her, it, us, ten. Excellent, thank you. Very good. Let's go with, <coughs> let's go with, let me see. Jimmy, read the object pronouns, please. Okay. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Ada Gabriela. Read the object pronouns, please. Okay, me, them. you, him, her, it, us, them. Excellent, thank you. Now let's change. Let's change the activity. Let's go back to this one. So Fabiola, which are the object pronouns that we have? Tell me the object pronouns that we have. Object pronouns. Mm -hmm. Me, you, him, <coughs> her, it, us, and them. Excellent. Very good. You know why I'm taking this right now? Because sometimes, uh, thank you, Fabiola. That was great. Because sometimes we get confused with object pronouns, object pronouns, and possessive adjectives, right? So that's why I want to keep this very clear and stable. Okay? Let's see, Claudia Maria. Tell me the object pronouns. Tell me. Sorry. Me, you, him, her, and it, us, and them. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Let's see with a gentleman. Walter. Walter, tell me the object pronouns. Me, you, him. Ahí le están soplando. Let me see who's doing that. <laughs> there you go. Qué buena amiga, Milagrito. Qué buena amiga. <laughs> Let me see. Walter, where are you? Are you in class? Let's see then, Cesar. Tell me the object pronouns. Object pronouns is... Me, you, it, I look the another book. <laughs> Excuse me, Eva. Um, wow, uh, object pronouns, object pronouns. Where, where, where? Where are your pronouns? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What is all your pronouns? I don't remember, no, I know that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, Don't worry, Cesar. We're gonna see them later. Let's see. Uh, everyone, just a piece of advising here. Try to remember that if we're talking about object pronouns, we refer to them uh, using the verb are. The object pronouns are, we don't say the object pronouns is, all right? Just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not is, it's are. Let me see. I'm going to ask somebody else. Ya ven, porque hago el repaso. <laughs> Let me see. Marvin. I don't know if you already participate, Marvin, but tell me the object pronouns, please. Okay, teacher. The object pronouns are me, you, her, him, it, us, them. 
Very good. Thank you. René Samuel, tell me the object pronouns, please. What? Tell me the object pronouns, please. Say so, yeah, me. Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. Him. Her. Use. Uh, it's them. Okay, very good. Just remember that the pronunciation is us. All us. right, us. Excellent, us. very good. Very good. Last but not least, let me see, Crisia. Tell me the object pronouns, please. Me, you, us, it, her, him, them. Excellent, very good, very good. All right, you guys. Now let me see, just for the ones that don't have this information on their notebooks, you can take a screenshot or you can copy this. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds and then we're going to pass to something else, all right? Thank you, miss. You're welcome, there you go. All right, let's move on. This was also part of, this is actually part of section number four, but the, this, it's, this specific content was part of last class. So we have this information. I'm not sure if you have it. If you don't have it, you can copy it. If not, do not worry, okay? Here we go. Let me see, Rafael, can you please read the pink chart or purple chart? <laughs> yes, do. I, you, we, they. Excellent, very good. Do, when it says equal, it means that we can use it with any of those subject pronouns, right? I, you, we, they. Excellent, Rafael, thank you. What about does? Let me see, Diane, what about does? Third person singular, he, she, it. The verse that does after the auxiliar when changed its base form. Its base form. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly, everyone. This is like this is like a staple, right? We cannot move and believe oh, I'm gonna add s to the verb that follows does. You don't need to do that. Okay. So you just stay with us when talking in third person singular. He, she, it. Uh, last class, I showed you some examples and I also, I do have some questions in here following this slide, just to keep uh, in clear this content, okay? I see some of you are taking notes and that's great. I'm gonna give you one minute to copy or to take notes if you want. Let me know when you're finished, please. Finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Excellent. Let me see if somebody else is taking notes. No, all right, that's great. Let's continue. So I have this practice for you. So it says practice time. It says, ask the following questions. Let's see. No and me, please ask question number one. Do two. you like to watch TV? Yeah, thank you. So just give me one second. You're going to ask that question to Florence. Okay. Florence, do you like to watch TV? Yes, I like so much. Okay, thank you. Let's see. <clears throat> Thank you, Noemi. Thank you, Florence. Let's go with Karina Jimenez. Ask question number two to Luis Alonso. 
do you like music? Uh, yes, I like music. Mm -hmm. Basic, right? Oh, yes, I no like question. The music. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then if she asks you something like, what kind of music? You can say it with Miguel, right? <laughs> with all confidence. <laughs> all right, thank you. Let's go with Crisia. Ask question number three to Lisette, please. Lisette, do you play a musical instrument? Uh, yes, I do. I like it. Okay, yes, I do. Very good. These are short, uh, just no questions. So yes, you can say yes, I do. Or yes, I do play an instrument, uh, musical instrument. Now, please remember that according to the platform, sometimes they are going to ask you for long answers. And other times they are just going to ask you for short answers, right? So that's like pretty simple and it's great that you're handling. Let me see, let's go with Walter. Walter, ask question number four to, let me see. To Rafael, please. I don't know. Okay. What programs do you like? Mm, I think it's not in class anymore. Let me see. Okay, Walter, ask your question again, but this time to Fabiola. Okay. What program do you like? Uh, my favorite program is, uh, I don't know, maybe series, series of action. Action series or action okay. show. Yes, excellent. Okay. Thanks. That's great. Excellent. Yeah, Fabiola, we can notice that you like action <laughs> because of the apples that you have at, um, behind your back. Those are apples, right? <laughs> as far as I know, as you're a t shirt, that's why a t shirt, that's why you have those things. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, let's go with somebody else. Number five, Cesar, ask question number five to, let me see, to Jimmy, please. What videos do you like, Jimmy? Um... I like a soccer video. Okay, yeah, that's great. That could work. Excellent, very good. <clears throat> Let's go with number six. Milagro, please ask question number six to Claudia Maria. Which musical instrument do you play, Claudia Maria? Um, I play the piano. Okay, that's great. Is it true, Claudia, or you're just inventing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's great. It's fantastic. All right, thank you very much. All right, everyone. So there you have. These are like simple questions, like basic questions or we can call them as everyday questions, right? When we are talking to someone, we use this kind of questions. And please remember that when using do, we are going to answer the same way. Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? All right, that's like the short form. Let's move on. World for invitations. Now, right now we're getting into a new topic and we have a conversation to practice, of course, this topic. I'm going to need Diane. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, tengo una pregunta. ¿Verdad uh -huh. que cuando se ocupa el do y el das, no tenemos que usar los verbos en pasado? No, no, you don't need to change them. Don't, don't okay. change them. No se cambian 
Y tampoco se le, en el caso del das, no le agrega ese tampoco al verbo que le sigue. ¿Ok? okay. Sí, eh, con eso sí es de manejarlo así. No hay like on any other way. Esa es, that's the only way. Okay, All right. Thank you. Excellent. There you go. There you have. It. Okay. So where I was, where was I? Let me see. Diane, you're going to be Susan. Cesar, you are Dave. Action, please. I have tickets to the soccer match one Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. They'd love to. What time doesn't it start? At eight o'clock. That's so great. So good to you again to have dinner at 6 p.m. Ooh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before that match around 7 30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's so fine. See you see you here. Excellent. See you there. Repeat after me, Diane. There. See you here. There. There. There, uh -huh. there, there. there. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Excellent. No questions, no comments. Let's go with Lisette. Lisette, you're Susan. Let me see, Lisette, and you're going to work with Armando Antonio. Okay, so Armando, you are Dave. Action. Your microphone, Armand. Oh, I'm sorry, sister. Don't worry. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I would love to. What time does it start? Uh, eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Gate. That's so fine. See you there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Armando, repeat after me. Gate. 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 Three times. Gate. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Luis. Luis, you of course are David. And Florence, you are Susan. Action. Teacher. Yeah, yeah, you're Dave. Uh, okay. Um, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Okay. Oh, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. 7 okay, let's meet at the gate. That's so fine. See you there. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see, Florence, repeat after me. Just give me one second. Repeat after me. And sounds. Sounds. Mm -hmm. Sounds. Sounds. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, now, Milagro, you go with Marvin. Milagro, you are Susan. Marvin is Dave. 
action. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I do love too. But tiny does is a start. At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet let just meet at the stadium before the match around a uh, seven seven third. Seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's on five. See you there. See you there. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. No, thank you, Marvin. And thank you, Mila. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go with Walter and Noemi Yesenia, please. Walter, you are Dave. Noemi, you are Susan. Okay. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6 o'clock? Oh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30 p.m. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go with, let me check in here. Karina, you go with Mauricio. Welcome, Mauricio. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> So Mauricio, you are Dave. Karina, you are Susan. Action. Karina Jimenez or Karina I have... Jimenez. <laughs> Karina Jimenez, <laughs> yes, girl. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I began. I begin. Yes. I had a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it is to start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? I would like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let, uh, let's, me, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Thank you. Crisia Muñoz and Rene Samuel, please. Crisia, you are Susan and Rene, you are David. <laughs> okay. I have tickets to the Susan at on Friday night. Will you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? It's eight. That no, sounds eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I don't like to boot. I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now let's see, Rene, repeat after me. Soccer. Soccer. Three times. Soccer. Soccer. Okay, repeat after me. I'd, I'd like to. Like, come on. Like to. Like to. I'd like to. I like to. Excellent, very good. 
this this part in which you can see that it says in on day oh i'd like to it's not a contraction of don't right we will see just in a few seconds what is it about what's the contraction about okay thank you renee thank you and now i will have fatima rivas teacher yes i have a question tell me your question Match. ¿Qué significa match? Ah, partido. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Super match. Excellent. Very good. It's good that you asked me, everyone. It's excellent. Let's go with Fatima. ¿Dónde estás, Fatima? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Fatima Rivas. You go with, let me see. Do I have somebody else? Yes, I do have Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. You are Dave. Fatima, you are Susan. Action. Okay, I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me at the gate. That's so fine. See you there. Okay, thank you guys. Now let's see, Jimmy, repeat after me. Let's meet. Let's meet, let's meet, let's meet. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, so maybe I have missed like two people or, or more, I don't know, but don't worry, we're gonna practice later. Right now I need to get into this content, right? Now let's see, this is a really important part. This is a structure, it says, the topic it says, the use of wool in questions and answers, okay? That's basically uh, the topic in which we are developing right now. So you have this structure. Let me see. I'm gonna ask. Karina Marisol, can you please read the structure that we have in there? Wool plus that gets plus bear, plus two, plus bear. Excellent, thank you. Then sometimes after that verb, you will have a complement, right? That's like basic, that's like an stable. And then we have this information. This information is totally part of the platform. Let me see, Claudia Maria, can you please read the first question that we have in here? Would you like to go out on Friday? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mauricio. Tell me the answers that we have for that question. Yes, I will. Yes, I would love to. Thanks. Yes, I would really like. Excellent, very good. Now, if you notice, my dear students, we have like some politeness answers in here. For example, yes, I'd love to, thanks, okay? That's something like extra that you could add as a politeness way in which you can say, hey, yes, I'd love to, right? Thanks. And then we have another question. Let me see, Cesar. Please read the second question that we have in there. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Let me see, Heidi Vasquez, can you please read the answers that we have in here? Okay, I like to but have to go late. Mm -hmm.
I like to I like to but I need to to have money to save to save money. I like to but I uh, want to visit my party. Excellent, thank you. Now, if you notice in here where it says save money, se refiere a ahorrar dinero, right? Save money. Thank you. Thank you very much, Heidi. Now, if you see, we have different answers for one question, and that's why, because we have a but in here, which it means that we do appreciate the offer or the invitation, but sadly, we cannot go, right? Because we have something else to do or because we have an impediment to complete the, the action of going with that person to somewhere. All right. Then we have the contraction. This is not really or a highly important part. I'd equal, I would, okay? I'd, that's the only thing that we have or the only contraction that we have in here, I, which it means I would, okay? It doesn't mean I don't, no, it's I would. Okay, there you have it. Please, if you don't have this structure, you may copy this on your notebook because maybe I'm gonna ask you tomorrow about it. <laughs> Only the structure if you, if you want. And let me know when you're finished. Teacher, mm -hmm. in negative, uh, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. mm, we will see. We'll see, I have that, that information in here. All right. Finished? Let me know if you have finished taking notes and I can move on. Yeah, okay, excellent, thank you. So there you have it, extra information. When accepting invitations, we use the following structure, okay? This is like, when you say yes, I'll go, <laughs> okay? So we have subject plus world plus verb plus two, plus verb, plus complement, okay? Now here you do have a complement and we will see why. I have some guiding examples for you. You may copy this as well. Now listen, if you want to take my advice, I have this for you. As you may have noticed, I have been presenting since we started the class, the, the course, uh, many structures, right? And sometimes it's almost impossible not to get confused between all those structures. So my advice for you is that if you have a market, please use it, okay? Just to highlight, like, I, if you notice in here, I highlight this, okay? So that's what I want you to do on your notebook. If you have your notebook and you take notes, which I hope you're doing it, try to highlight the information so that you don't get confused, right? It's just a piece of, a, of an advice for you. Let's move on. Then we have guiding examples. Let me see, we have two. I'm going to write down one and then two. Uh, Fabiola, can you please read number one? I would like to go to the movies with you. Excellent, very good, thank you. There you have it. This is like a basic example that we have. I is your subject, 
okay? So don't forget about the subject, it's really important. Although sometimes you will see that many people don't get the subject into the structure, you do need the subject, right? That's like legit, legit, there's no other way. Then we have would, which is the auxiliary. Then we have another verb. And then we have to plus another verb that it states completely in its own natural form. It's not changed. Then you have the complement to the movie with you. I would like to go to the movies with you. To the movies with you, it's the complement. Okay, there you have. Let's go with sentence number two. Elsie de Carballo, can you please read sentence number two? Elsie, are you there? Dígame, teacher. Please, read number two. La, la dos, tengo que decirle. Yes, yes, please. Would love to visit your mother. Excellent. Repeat after me, Elsie. I would. Elsie? Elsie? Sí, sí, sí. Ay, escuché mi voz. I would. I would. Love I, to visit. I would love to visit your mother. Your more. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Another one that you have. Just that in this one, the, co the complement is shorter, right? It's not that long as the first one. That's the only thing that changed. Now, I have a practice time for you, but before the practice, I want you to do this. I want you to see this information that I have. When refusing, when refusing, and here it goes, uh, I think it was Lisette, right? The one who asked me about negative form in here, this part. So when refusing an invitation, we use the following structure. Let's see, Lisette, please read the structure. Subject plus wool plus bird plus two plus bird. And I, I don't know. But. All the, but. No, egg. coma, ¿cómo se dice? Perdón. Coma. Coma. Ok, mm -hmm. coma. Yeah, coma. Excellent. Pero ese es punto y coma. Ah, ay, se me olvidó cómo se dice eso. Ah, I forgot how to say it. <laughs> lo voy a buscar y te lo voy a decir mañana. Ok. Seis <laughs> a coma. ¿Ah? Seis a coma. Seis más coma. No, no, it's different. No, it's no. Different. That's the homework for you. Uh -huh, that's my homework. Now you see, as a teacher, <laughs> homework also. You guys, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I try to be perfect, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good. Yo te voy a decir mañana, Lizette. What do you say? All right, everyone. Okay. Now listen, in here, pay attention. If you notice, we are not using wouldn't. All right, we are not using will not. We are using the keyword but, right, to make it negative. Like, not in negative, actually, but we are refusing, okay? So copy this structure, and then you will see the guiding examples because we are just about to finish the class. Uh, instruction finish with but. Yeah, it finishes with but. After the but, you're going to add the complement, of course. Uh, you will see in the guiding examples. Just I want you to copy that structure. Finish. Excellent, very good. There you have it. Here you have it, all right? I'd love to go with you, but I can't. Simple as that. Or you can also say, but I want, all right? I would love to go with you, but I want. Or I love to go with you, 
but I can't. Then we have sentence number two. I will ask somebody else. Fatima Karina, can you please read sentence number two? I will love to visit your mother, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Basic as that. We are not going with a lot of, um, like with a lot of words, just the basic, but I can't. That's the keyword that we have in there. Let me know if you want to copy this guiding examples because then I'm going to stop sharing. All right. All right, everyone. So that was it pretty much for today's class. We have already the hour and it was a pleasure to see you. Now, please remember that I need you to finish section two at least by in sections, section four, at least by today or for tomorrow, all right? All right. Let's hope you get it for tomorrow or for today, if it's better for you. If you have questions, you still can ask me anything. Just that sometimes I will tell you things like I'm working, but I will get you the answer after I finish my work, all right? And there you have it. If you have questions or something else about your platform, let me know, okay? It will be a pleasure for me to help. All right, that was it pretty much for today's class. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 teacher. Bye. Teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, en los subject pronouns, uh -huh. usted menciona que solo se ocupa el are. No, cuando decimos, porque escuché por ahí que alguien me dijo, the subject pronouns is, the object pronouns is, y no podemos decir uh, eso. Oh, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, está solo es para singular. En plural. Uh -huh. Ah, y como estamos en plural, decimos are. The, sub, the object pronouns are. Uh -huh. Ok. Right? Excellent, very good. Thank you. All right, everyone, goodbye, take care. Bye. Bye, Tisha. Bye. Bye. Bye.